Hi, this is Angela and Hiroko again. We're here to show you, once you set up your IV, your IV epidural, how to program the pump. The first thing we do is turn the pump on. Observe the self-test, the LED lights, and the power source screen. If you notice, you're going to see on the screen, library. At this point, you should consult your doctor's order and so that you can select the correct library with the correct dosage. So we're going to press yes, and we're going to go to new program, yes. We're going to enter the code. And we're going to select PCA epidural and press yes. At this point, we're going to look at the doctor's order and make sure that the one we pick is the correct one. In this case, it's fentanyl, two mics per ml with bupivacaine, 0.065% in a 250 ml bag. And we'll accept by saying yes and it will ask you if you need to erase the previous prescription and you would say yes. At this point, we're ready to program our, our pump. We have no loading dose. One quick thing to, to note. The bags come in 250 mLs. Only program about 230 mLs because you do not want the bag to run dry. The basal rate in this case is 8 mL an hour. The demand is 2 mL. and the bolus interval is 15 minutes. I'd like to point out that it's very important to calculate and make sure that your hourly total matches the doctor's order and also that the doctor's order is calculated cor correctly. The program will ask you if we're done and you will say yes. At this point, we're ready to prime our pump. Remember to unclamp your IV tubing and then select the prime function on the left lower edge of the pump and begin priming. It'll ask you to enter the code. Go ahead and enter the code. And now we're ready to prime. So we'll hold the prime button and begin priming until there are no more air bubbles in the tubing. Once we have co completely primed the tubing, the next step is to go ahead and label with a red tag that this is an epidural catheter. This is to ensure that nothing else except the epidural medication infuses. We're now ready to connect to the patient.
At this point, you would lock the lock box and connect the IV tubing to your patient. And then you would press run. Thank you for watching our YouTube video. This is Angela and Hiroko. Bye-bye.